I'm very optimistic. I'm very confident. Things seem to be going extremely well, and I'm hoping that uh, Albertans will be very excited after Saturday's vote to see unity in Alberta. There's at least one group right now out there, specifically the uh, Edmonton Southwest Constituency Board of the Wild Rose, who are running ads in media right now, both calling you and Jason Kenney elitist and uh, calling for a no vote from Wild Rose members. So how is that impacting the message that you're trying to send today? Well, I'm glad that we live in a country that respects democracy, that people can voice their opinion and have a say, uh, especially in this particular situation. The Wild Rose has clearly put forward an opportunity for all members to have uh, a say about what they believe in, so far as unity. They also, of course, have the opportunity to vote. And I would encourage all of those people, all of those members that have uh, membership in the Wild Rose to cast their vote on Saturday. And if they want unity, which I'm hoping for, that they vote yes. And if they don't, then they have an opportunity to vo vote no. And I would suggest that they do that. What uh, happens if on Saturday the vote is overwhelming in favor for the PC, but then on the Wild Rose side it's like 71 or 72? What happens then? Well, I'm not going to presuppose that decision. I'm certainly optimistic and hoping for a, a yes vote, uh, more than 75% from the Wild Rose. So I'm just going to go for that and work towards that and do that exactly what I'm doing here today. Brian, last week, uh, columnist Rick Bell of the Calgary Sun wrote a column that suggested, well, you, you were quoted as saying that uh, the right, extreme right-wing parties no, are no longer uh, viable in Alberta, but they have to go towards the, be more centrist, right in the middle. Have you, heard, have you had any reaction to that from uh, the Wild Rose uh, uh, membership about that, going to the center? Um, no, I, I actually uh, don't really want to put borders around what this new party is going to be. I certainly don't want to presuppose uh, what policies people will d decide on. I think the best thing to do right now is to be positive about the outcome on Saturday between the Wild Rose and the PCs and have a very positive vote, which I think will be a, a yes. And then on Monday that we can uh, start as one unified consolidated conservative movement in Alberta that is going to do what I believe is in the best interest of Albertans. And what I say to people is, you know, we right now have about 80,000 members between the two parties, 90,000 members. The more members, the more normal everyday Albertans that get involved uh, with the party going forward, the United Party going forward, I think the better the policy and the better the uh, constitution will be to reflect the views of Albertans. So I, that's why I say get involved. But will you take the party to the centre if, uh, if you're chosen leader? Will you do that? Well, I will tell you what I will always do. I will make common sense decisions in the best interest of the people of Alberta. And they, of course, uh, you know, my history is, is uh, not a secret. I was a, a Conservative MP in Ottawa re reflecting the views of Albertans and working for them every single day as I have been as the leader of the Wild Rose over the last two years. And people can see my decisions. I think they're practical. They're, they're common sense, but they're also obviously very fiscal prudent. Uh, I believe in smaller government. I believe in the people of Alberta having the best quality of life possible. And I'm going to continue to work for that each and every day. This is your last event outside of Calgary and Edmonton, um, I believe, before the the, end, uh, before the, the, the actual vote happens. What's the play, what's the importance of uh, rural voters, rural members of the Wild Rose in this vote? They're, they're a big chunk of your, of your membership, I guess they're an important part of this process uh, through, um, going forward to, to unity. Well, actually, our m membership is very reflective of Alberta's population, both rural and urban. We've seen a tremendous surge in membership just the last few months. Uh, we've doubled our membership size, which I think is reflective of what the view is of most Albertans. They want unity, they want a positive future, and they certainly want the opportunity to have their voice. And on Saturday, they will have their voice, they will have their opportunity to vote, and I'm encouraging all people to vote yes for a consolidated conservative movement well, going forward. I guess forward. being here, it's, important, it's still important for you to convene those rules. Every part of Alberta is important. I've been in Lethbridge and Calgary and Edmonton and Fort McMurray. Uh, I've been right across the province, and I continue to, I believe, uh, listen very closely to what Albertans priorities are and I will act on those priorities in the coming months. Any other questions? Uh, would you be open to, we were talking about what happens if, if the, the result is 72, 71, that kind of, of score, would you be uh, open to have 
some kind of temporary alliance, uh, each party take presenting candidate in one writing and, and not the other. Some sort of cooperative approach? Yeah. Well, listen, I am a servant of, of the people of my party, the, the members of my party, and I will always consult with them, and uh, as I have up to this point, uh, and they will ultimately make the decision. So that's going to be up to them, and I'm not going to predispose that outcome, but I work for them, and I'll, I'll get whatever they believe is the best path forward. I'll lay out that path and as many options around that path as I possibly can.